Warning, the video you are about to watch features YouTube user Toon Critic Y2K. If you are unaware, this user is admitted to committing crimes that are, but not limited to, pedophilia. As a result, he will be cut out of new recordings, but he still remains in this one. If this will bother you, then that would be a good time to click off the video and wait for the condensed version that will come out after each session. While we are committed to entertainment, one of the goals of these videos is to raise further awareness of these allegations. We respectfully understand if hearing Toon will cause more distress than entertainment. For those who are interested, we implore you to pay close attention to Toon Critic Y2K's actions, as they can potentially provide valuable insight into the working of a mind like his and help one better protect themselves. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, it's gone. Does it might need to scream. All right, so you are back. Find yourselves back at the uh, back at the inn. What are you going to do? Well, first I have uh, a request to fulfill for all the guests at the inn. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have any plans for tomorrow? Um. Well, considering this is Amber's homeland, I would assume she wants to explore it a little bit. Well, um, if we have a place secured to sleep for the night, then tomorrow, I, I don't know about you, but the hot springs sound really nice right about that. Mm. Sounds lovely. Hmm. <laughs> well, so what are you going to do? First, we have this. Yep. Uh, I accidentally clicked it twice, but oh All right. well. All right. So you you start you start casting your spell, and this appears. And there's big gold place of food. What the heck? That looks like a Japanese hot pot. Oh, it looks Japanese. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that looks like Bee Bam Bop. It's delicious. It looks like it looks like Naruto it's just a, made it. All, all the all the all the patrons in the all of the patrons in here suddenly see the ja giant pot of food drop onto the ground and, and begin opening their mouths and drooling. All right. Before anyone does anything. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dragon! Dragons eat first. Uh, yes, I take some of the I take some of the food out. At least two bowls work. And go back where I was sitting. Motion signal it over. Two so, bowls. Of course, goodness, you're not flying anywhere for a little bit. I'm gonna slide the bowls over to her. Here. Oh, well, thank you. You're being such a gentleman. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> now, did I need anything more than that to feed the entire inn? Uh, I figured no. you might need to eat more because well, you're eating for two technically. Yeah, it's like they're all they're all eating me. They're uh yeah. Let let me see. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, they're going they're going to be a little bit uh. It's like it's not quite enough to feed everyone, and so a, a couple of them are looking towards you with with uh with with pleading looks in their eyes. Well, here's another. Bout of food and water for forty-two humans for twenty-four hours. Oh my goodness, that should be enough to feed half, everyone. That should be enough to feed them for the week. You should <laughs> cut that in half because dragons technically eat for two people. They eat I thought for it was three. three. Oh, three. Sorry. Yeah, because yeah. And so then, between and then, the okay, heroes, it fills with the yeah, the pot again fills with a little more food, and then they begin di they begin digging in, and and uh, one of them gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the, bar, the bartender, the bartender look, looks to you, Owen says, "Thank you." She, she walks over to you and shakes your hand. Thank you so much. You saved, my, saved my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Saved your life? Oh goodness! I didn't realize they were that ravenous. She, she looks to you and says, "She she looks to you and, <laughs> and rolls her eyes." I, I was being hyperbolic, but still, thank you. 
Oh, 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 you know what? Come here. She gives, she gives you a big hug. <laughs> okay, Owen has to be looking left to right in an awkward fashion and just, just like gently her to her stop. Owen, are you? <laughs> I, th I say you made a friend. <laughs> Go, Owen! <laughs> All, right. All right, then she goes back and, begin and begins to mix the drinks. All right. I suppose I'd better grab my portion before it's all gone. <laughs> we saved you some. All right. Now, I had a specific question for the DM, because I walked in and I saw the cards, I made the comment, and I began thinking, what are the rules about gambling in this game? Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just curious. That's all. Owen. Uh, it's a, it depends on a couple. It, it depends on a couple roles. I have to imagine that if you're going to be playing a card game, the roles that would matter most would be something like bluff and sense motive, right? Not only so that. Uh, so, but not only that, but sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is if you're cheating, and I'm not intending to cheat. I would. I, still, that's still. I, I'm just, I'm just saying what, what, what the options are. Yeah. Now, well, your opponent might cheat. In other words, your opponent might cheat, and for that, you'd need a spot check. You need a sense motive check. Yes. There's all, there's all those different kinds of checks. If you, if you want to gamble, you can. Yeah. Right. So I noticed that there were multiple tables with cards and coins. So I assume that there are multiple dragons here interested, and I'm just curious about toying with the idea because I have a very high bluff role and I'm just I just want to toy with the idea that's all that's, that's and I feel good. like that's, per that's perfectly okay if you want to do it you can if I have Ivan there with me to help with the diplomacy roles and uh, help build relations yeah it's like hey if you want to gamble go for it <laughs> what do you what do the rest of the group here think um I mean, I'm not a gambler per se, uh, but if if you want to go for it, Owen, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. I, li I like to think of a luck dragon. <laughs> hmm. I love the labyrinth. I will end Josh, I will see you high. I'd like to let you know I'm seeing you in about a week, right? <laughs> My childhood. Aw. Hugs. <laughs> All right. I have to imagine that I've at least left a good impression on everyone in the tavern I would imagine. with what I've just done. Yeah, I you think you did. Tavern. I'm going to yeah, say you're, you're a hero. Everyone. All right. So, Ivan, if I could uh, have you uh, assist me in... Uh, Enticing a few people for a card game. <laughs> I'm just curious, is all. All right, this, this, boy, this man looks at you. It's like, oh, card game, you say? You want to? You want in? Go for it. It's been a while, <laughs> but uh, I suppose first introductions are in order. This here is Ivan, and I am Owen, and you are? Uh, my name is Illithor. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all ours. All right. So I can reach out my hand and offer a shake. Uh, he, he looks at, he eyes you for a moment, but then shrugs and takes it. All right. <laughs> Me too. All right. Well then. Well then, I think. I, well then, sit down, have a gig. I'll, I'll just, I'll just watch it. That's all the same with you. All no, right. That's... All right. So, Elithor begins shuffling the deck, and he deal, and he deal, and he deals you five cards. We are, I assume you're familiar with five card draw. Familiar enough. 
Good. He pet so he pet so he picks up your he picks up his cards and you pick up your cards. Immediately you notice that you already have a pair. Okay. Alright. Yeah, you, you have a pet you have a pair of Okay, so that. Okay, so yes. You have a pair you have a pair of eights. Okay. The rest is an ace, a two, and a four. So what kind of rolls do I need to make at this point? Uh, you can ma- you can make a roll to perceive to perceive your to, to perceive your person to perceive uh, the your opponent. You can make a roll to to try and block. You can make about you can make our, you can do anything. All right, let's make one bluff roll and one sense motive roll, and try and uh, stack the game in my favor. All right, go for it. The chat's going to have a field day with the fact that Dr. Wolf was the first one to gamble in this game. I, I'm, I'm I, just, I, have this, I have this evil grin on my face. Just. <laughs> I am trying to be as Owen, not as Dr. Wolf. You need to understand that this is playing a character. Yeah, yeah, we know. I know but people... yeah, no, absolutely, but it's great. It is great, but people are still going to do that. This is me watching you out of your comfort zone. This is out of my comfort zone, but I am trying to get into my character. And that's what makes it fun. Yeah, it's cool. So, make your your skill rolls. Sense motive. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Not the best, but... It seems like he he has a practiced poker face. But this is where my actual strength lies. Mm. Obviously. Wow. <laughs> I call trademark infringement. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. With a with a with a small smirk, you grab. It's a, with, with a small smirk, you grab fifty gold and just drop it on the table. And you, you see, uh, you see Illithor blink at it a little bit. You are a great warrior. He drop, he drops his cards. I pulled. <laughs> All right. All right. Then. So that you win that round, and you ri- and you win uh, twenty gold. It's a little bit of something. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Again, I, I heard somebody say again already. And it was not right. me. Deal me in. Ooh, Wait, wow. ride. Did somebody right. say deal me in? No, no, no. I was just, I was just. No, I said, around. I said again because Amber's watching like from a distance with the enthusiasm. <laughs> All right. Well, we can try right. again then. I get the fuck All right. Elithor shuffles the deck. All right. It, all right, he shuffles the deck and, and hands you some cards. What you have? I will take. The, I will take the cards from his hand. All, all right. So you look at you look at your cards and you see that you have a two of hearts, a three of hearts, a four of clubs, a five of spades. And a nine of clubs. All right, we can try to do what we did last time then. I hope I didn't shoot him in the foot when I said again. Well, the worst that'll happen is he breaks even, right? That's true. All right. Natural 20, sense motive. Good job. And. Nice, we done. All right, you stu- yeah, all right, you stu- it's like you study his face and you can tell that he's a, he's a little myth that he, his pride was a little wounded that he lost the first round. And so you can tell that he's a little intent on trying to get it back and he drops 50 more gold onto the, onto the pile. Ooh. Even, though, even, though you're pre- even though you're pretty sure he's bluffing. I see. Well, here's my own bluff check. Yep. 
You drop you you uh you match it you you match his uh you match his bet. And then and then yet and then yet you imperceptibly see him twitch a little bit. <laughs> he drop he he drops a couple of his cards and goes and goes to the deck to pick up some more and he motions for you to do the same. All right. That means I can drop one card and pick up one. All right. Which, if I'm you, familiar with rules, would be the nine? Yes. You uh, pick up the card, and sure enough, you have a straight. Okay. <laughs> nice. In that case, uh, I'm waiting to see what he's doing first. He sh- it's like he drops up, he drops a hundred more gold onto the pile. Oh. <laughs> and I can double that. Ooh, you Ooh. raise. Ooh. He's raising. Uh, what are you doing? You, you, said, you see it. You see him. You, he said you see him twitching. <laughs> you get a fold. It's where if he goes all in. Oh boy. <laughs> He bangs his head on the table and drops his cards. Oh. <laughs> you, hear, you, you hear him uttering a, lo- a long string of words in Draconic, and it's making Amber flinch. <laughs> the Elder Swear. Uh, what, is, yeah, what, what does he say, DM? Probably the Elder um, Swear in Draconic. Uh, let, let me put it this way. Lucid would be proud. I can imagine him like just smiling like... All right, I, I can request that uh, Ivan tend to smooth things over because I don't want to make anyone angry with us. I just wanted a friendly game. Oh, yeah. We, we don't <laughs> oh, want, my God! We don't want any violence, of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I kind of rush over. Uh, is everything is everything all right, sir? I'm fine. He, he gets up at the table and leaves in a huff. Hmm. Uh, what did he say? You, you don't want to know. You you don't. No. Owen, nice job, but might not want to tick off any more dragons tonight. I didn't want to make anyone upset. I only wanted a friendly game. Uh, I I I I know I know, but but dragon and gold losing it, pride. Mm. Okay. You remember, you remember how uh, I went a little too far with one dragon, so I better not do any more. Yeah. Just, just. For, I mean, still, if you're gonna play says, again, don't play with the same dragon. Yeah. Still, he looks at. Still, you have won two hundred gold. Woo! Yeah. Good job. Nice. Okay. I'll add it to my inventory. Let's see. Where is that? Under equipment. Yeah. yeah it should be like right at the bottom. Uh, yeah. all, Plus yeah. the 50 from earlier, you have won 250 gold from gambling. Hmm. Yeah, meanwhile, there's shipping going on in the chat. <coughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, it was an experiment. I wanted to toy with the system, and now... Yes, I think that is something that is a possibility for the future, given my character. All right. Well then. So that was thank you for allowing me to indulge in that experiment. You're you are very welcome. You did a good job. <laughs> did a good job. <laughs> you should gamble more often. You did a good job. Courage <laughs> gambling. Uh. I'm just kidding. I, 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 for the record, I don't encourage gambling of any kind. Alright. I walk over the simula real quick. Hey. <laughs> uh, yes? What would you like to say? Are you well? What an odd question. What an odd thing to say. It's a simple question, yes or no. Other than craving very strange foods, I think I'm a, I think I'm alright. Like what? 
Uh, would you happen to have a tuna fish smothered in chocolate? <laughs> just wanted to. But yes, I'm just hoping that it's like no, no offense to the dwarf, but I'm just hoping that I can keep whatever, whatever that food was down. Doesn't Hero's Feast help with nausea? Yes, the Hero's Feast does keep you from getting nauseous. I'll go ask. Give me a minute. You said it was to spawn food and water too. Did you have any, anything to drink? Um, uh, yes, I did, have, I did have some water. I did have some water as well. But yes, that's about it. Anyway, uh, yes. Cross goes up to the, uh, to, to the bar. Uh, excuse me. Uh, 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 that she, you know that you notice that she's cleaning up the spill. Oh, uh, uh, give me give me one second, darling. I. Uh, you're, no worries. Just come. Do you need help with that? Uh, no, no, I'm good. I got this. I got this. It's, I, I made this mess. I'll clean it up. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she gets back. She gets up. She gets up and says, "All right. So, anything? Yeah. Anything bit of a bit of an odd request. Do you have um, tuna fish and or chocolate around?" She, she gives you a very dumb look, but says, well, as I said before, all our meat stores uh, had a little accident, but uh, I think I have some chocolate in the back? It, well, at least chocolate will do. All right. She, go, she goes back, and she goes and grabs a little bit of chocolate. Okay. I say to Simula, just wanted to give you a proper thank you. For what you did. Hmm. Hmm. This is a bit. Hmm. I never thought I'd actually hear that from you. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't mean I don't. It doesn't mean I trust you. Oh, I wouldn't trust me either. Well, we are grateful for all the help you've been giving us, so thank you very much. Hmm. And I will do my best. Not to be so snappy in the future. Good. Aw, but you're adorable when you're all huffy. Mm. I stump off. See? Adorable. <laughs> did, you, did you see how red her face did you see how red her face got? It's almost as red as it gets when she talks with you. I oh. snarl at Ivan. Ivan, are you coming? Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> she'll, she'll she'll get better, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Simula <laughs> puts her hand, puts her arms behind puts her hands behind her head and uh, and just and just leans back. This is better than pay per view. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Off character. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see some shit. <laughs> Right? Like, actually, actually, you know what I'm picturing right now? That I'm tipped to the draw. I'm tipped oh, to the draw, like a tall amber, like humanoid amber, and she's she's like carrying Ivan like a football. Oh my god! Right. Not right now, but eventually, at some point. <laughs> it's like, uh, Amber, you can put me down. Be quiet, I Ivan. Amber, <laughs> <laughs> no, Amber, right. you want to deliver your chocolate, or? Oh, did you, did uh, I receive it, or? Yeah, you, yeah, you received okay. it. All right, I receive it, and I come back. I didn't have tuna fish, but they did have chocolate. Will that work? Uh, it'll be, it'll be fine. Besides, the hero's feast did do something. It's like I can't get sick from this. It's good. She she, she takes a little bit, and then you you notice her like melt into the chair a bit. Oh, this is, oh, this is really really good chocolate. I'd be the hormones, or but this is pretty really good. I didn't really eat much. I'm not really too hungry. Oh, yeah. but... oh you should try some of it, Cross. After all, chocolate is the ultimate aphrodisiac. <laughs> are you are you sure we're in a bar or are we on a street? Cross is it blinks and starts blushing a bit, but takes some of it anyway. I didn't see that coming, dang. 
And in the process, he sort of repeats the same effect. Oh, wow. Okay, I've not actually had chocolate in... I don't, I don't know how long I've had. This is really good. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the ocean, Jimmy is like, I feel a disturbance in the forest. I'm not sure. I feel disturbed. Uh, anyways. So, so Thanks for helping me out earlier, by the way, with the bow. I... I don't know where you got this or how you were able to make this, but I've never felt this much power in a weapon before. Oh. Well, it's happened. Well, it happens when you're as powerful with magic as I am. I've had a long time. What else can you do? Hmm. She, she looks over. She looks over to the party. Nothing that, that I'm willing to divulge, unless you give me something. I thought the dagger would have been something, but what else? Oh yes, I do very much appreciate the dagger, but that was a gift. This is a deal. Alright. Tell you what. I will, tr- I will give you a little bit of tutoring if you allow me to say something. I will give you a little bit of shoot. I will give you a little bit of tutoring if you allow me to say a little bit of information about where Vorgren Vinelight is. Cross pauses and looks over at the others briefly. They seem they don't seem to be noticing, so I look back. No, I no, Simula made sure to say it loud enough so that they could hear. Yeah. I have to imagine the entire party would be perking up their ears at that. Yeah. I know where Vorken Vine I know, I know where Vorken Vinebite is. So, in exchange for one hour of tutoring cross, I can give you a little bit of information. Really, it's that a win-win for you. Gets more power, and you get information. Why would you want us to find Vorgrin? Because as far as I know, the dwarves want both us and Vorgrin. Is it for a dog or for a dog? Oh, it's simple. The dwarves want to... The dwarves wanted to catch the to catch the murderer, and so and wi- and you all want to clear your names. So, I was just thinking that perhaps we could pin the murder of the queen of the dwar- of the dwarven queen on Arkus Wormwood. Mm. That. But in order to do in order to do that. We need Vorgan we need Vorgan Vinebite to get their attention. Otherwise they're not going to listen to us. Okay. Alright. I'm in. One hour well, or two. Does that does that does that does ever does anyone else have any objections? I want to understand how you intend to get Arkoth to take the blame for this. Shit, it's that Samir Samir laughs. I'm very good with people. After all, I could I could very well have pinned uh, you sit I could very well have pinned you what was it? Uh, stealing my sister away all the way back at the beginning of this adventure. But I couldn't. But I didn't because I wanted things to be a bit more fun. But unfortunately, because I apparently played with my food too much, it came back to bite me. You guys sure we should do this? And what makes you think that Arkoth couldn't see this coming and just play it against you? Well, hmm, that's a very good point you raise. It doesn't seem like it doesn't. Well, he wouldn't know anything about us now, would he? 
Yet he wouldn't hear he wouldn't expect this because he doesn't know all of you as well as I do. He seems to know quite a bit about us. Oh, what what makes you think he knows so much about you? You don't know. Samuel raises her eyebrow. Doesn't don't know what. She does. I find that very hard to believe that you don't know anything about that. Oh. I find that very hard to believe indeed. Simula Simula crosses her arms. Mind your tone. Oh, and there's no need to do anything brash. What would so, you think? I want to know what the rest of you guys think about Simula and what Arkoth has already been doing. I, mm, after everything we've been through, I, I... How can you not know what If can you she stop really, really can you, uh, you guys can roll, you guys can roll sense motive. My sense motive is not that great. Does anyone have better than plus five? Let's see. Let's see. I don't think mine is very high. Let me check. Um, if she really is trying to lie about this, but at the same well, time, if she really doesn't know about any of this, mine's hmm. terrible. But can't you cast a uh, the same, the suspicious people on the other side of the world. All right. Can't you cast? I rolled an eighteen. Oh, I have an eight. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a very good roll. Uh, with this, with that little check, you, yeah, you, you see that Simula is, the suspense is killing her, and she's really trying to figure out what you're on about. Look, why don't we just stop beating around the bush, okay? I know that we're that. I know that there's been mind games and there's been little passive aggressive cute little moments here and there. Hey. Well, anyways, I know that there's been that sort of thing around here, but for once, can we just be honest? Oh, Not hold on a second the... here. Simula has been intentionally keeping things from us from very early on. Even now, she's not telling us everything. And we're Quite not honestly. That this is the first time I felt like we've actually known something very important that she doesn't seem to know. And I'm not feeling like, hey, let's just put it out in the open right off the bat. How about a little bit of respect then? So, Owen, just calm down, okay? Just whatever you need to ask her, just ask her calmly, okay? She's not our enemy right now, she's part of our team. We don't need to resort to anything brash or violent, all right? And because she's a part of our team, I think we do owe that little bit of respect. She's not a part of our team. You forget yes, that. Yes, she is. She is I'm not. Concerned. When did we agree to this, Cross? The moment she joined our squad, that's when we agreed to that. Right now, I'm more concerned about Arkoth, knowing what we know. Everything that Arkoth has been doing... I sincerely believe that Arkoth would see something like what she's planning coming from a mile away. Wouldn't you agree? Well, how about this? We could, we could, well, that was my original plan. I am open to the prospect of a plan B. If it took, so yes, he might know that I am planning around that. But, and he could probably plan around that plan. So maybe we could plan around the plan that he is planning around our plan. Or if you do want to make things even more convoluted. We don't need to make it more convoluted. Mm -hmm. What do you propose we do? I propose my original plan, but if the dwarf doesn't like it, maybe we can not get, maybe we can not do this and we can not give Cross his tutoring so he can be as useless as he was in the attack against the Frostwood Virago. He was never useless before. Why are you planning in, he in his head that he is? Oh, well, let's face it, all right? I have been. You all have all these special abilities, and what do I have? I'm just me. 
all right? Only one time, the one time where I feel like I actually have a chance was when I got that bow. You have no idea how powerful I felt. Just one strike. I actually felt like I was on your level for once. So excuse you... me if I want to try to do more for this party than just shoot arrows and hide. Cross. Cross. You said you said that you're you, right? Well, the you that we know is one of the most important parts of our party. Every single one of us have done something in order to help us get through. And just be, even if you don't do as much as everybody else in one given fight or one given situation, that doesn't make you any less important to the party. All right? Whether you shoot one arrow, you shoot no arrows, you run and hide, you stand right in front of the fight, whatever you do, you're helping. And we appreciate you. Just hit to the roll of strength check. You know, I almost believe that. Not quite. Well, I believe it. As do I. I don't honestly understand why you feel the need to follow this temptation. Why you Funny. feel the need to see yourself as less important considering everything that all of us have been through. She's been with us far less. And yet you seem to think that what she offers is suddenly more valuable than anything we could. You know, I don't think coming from you talking about lecturing me on temptation, the one who over there was just trying to gamble and try to get some money, I don't think you have really the right to judge right now. Do you remember our talk from ages ago? Come now, Cross. You remember, don't you? When you insisted that you didn't need help and that I was incredibly firm in making you promise that you would ask us for help. Ask us for help. And now you decided, oh wait, no, I don't have to do that anymore. I have someone else who can do that for me now. I don't have to hold on to that promise. What were those words worth then? You know, it's a funny thing. Words can be a little bit more powerful than you expect, but also, I know how to use them right. I'm taking this offer, whether any of you like it or not. So you lied. You lied to Owen. You lied to us. You're siding with someone who has been putting us through hell from the very beginning. <laughs> and now we are far out of that element. We are far off the game. This isn't even a game anymore. We are off an uncharted territory, separated from the others. And maybe... I guess I'm crazy for being the only one that seems to actually care that despite all that we've been through, the person who has been putting through all this not only has been betrayed, she's carrying a child. And do I seem to be the only one that really cares at all about this? I never said I didn't care. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little, I, I think it reeks of hypocrisy in here because little Miss Amber what is your goddess, goddess, the goddess of, what's the word I'm looking for mm, that's on the tip of my tongue? Oh yes, mercy. You don't seem to have a single bit of that in your bones. Did I not just say thank you earlier? Or did we yeah. forget about that? Did you, oh, did you forget about the part where you just said, oh, I'm not a part of your party? Were those just empty words coming from a stupid hypocrite? Stupid! I need Amber, to get Amber, in Amber. Hey! No. Don't even think about it. Cross, get out of my way before I'm I snap not your neck. Moving. Try it. Oh, please. I would love to see you try. Amber, please oh, don't do yes, this. Yeah, yes, a ballroom brawl. Our heroes, everyone. I lean and whisper a little bit. If you make any noise in here, if you start a fight, you're going to ruin the chance we have free rooms for the night. And. Can embarrass all of us. Think first, instead of with your stupid fists. 
Cross, you need to think a little more clearly than that. Okay. Amber, you need to think about Jaminia. Think about what Jaminia wants, what she would do, how much she has served and protected all of us. I despise Simula, and I will not trust her for even an instant. But I will protect her because that is what Jaminia has asked of us. And that is enough for me. As much as it pains me to do so. It is because of my respect for Jaminia that I allow Simula to stay with us. And I hope that you will allow that too. I thought we were friends, you and I. I was wrong. I stomp away. She'll get over it. No. It seems that we are not in a position to discuss anything further tonight. So, perhaps it is best that we cool things down and start anew tomorrow. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I I don't know about you, but those hot springs seem very enticing. And that's where I'm going by myself. Hmm. And I take one look at Owen. Maybe instead of trying to be this big figure, trying to look over all of us, maybe you should look at this from a different perspective. The perspective of a father. And understand how important the situation really is to me. I'm off. still thinking more of Jaminia. I hope you will too, Cross. Of course I'm thinking. All right. <sighs> And that concludes Days of Our Lives. That was awesome! <laughs> I, was, I was this close! I was this close to oh say God. I'm rolling a straight check. I'm about to grab Cross by the throat and throw him. I'm gonna rewatch that on loop once you get the list. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> I was so close! I wanted to do it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> By the way, Josh, I love the Helsing Ultimate at Bridge reference. Yeah. <laughs> Brog, Brog walks over to Amber. I... Are you alright? I, I, I'm not exactly well-versed in this sort of thing. Amber? I just need to choose my friends more carefully. <laughs> Uh, well, um, uh, yeah. well, I suppose we could, um, we, we could turn in for the night, maybe? That would be yeah. advisable, yeah. yes. I, know you wanted to go, I mean, I know you wanted to go to those hot springs, but, uh... Okay. Um, Zach, Zach. Hey, hang on a sec, guys. What? What's up? Mute. Yeah, sure. Go for that. Let's go. Yeah, don't right. worry. I can. I can. Uh, no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But we just didn't want your folks to get caught on video. But, yeah. Yeah. No. Don't worry. I can edit that out in post. I always do. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Shoot! I dropped my D20. Uh, all right. So. So, so what are you gonna do now? Yeah, Cross kind of just up and left, so... Yeah, I, I look to Ivan. Unsure what to do. Well, Teared up. Well, I, I, I hug you and try to dry your tears. <laughs> You're asking Finn to stop being... I know, cool? right? I know. Really? I might, as, I might as well try to hold, try to hold the tide back with a pillow. <laughs> I'm, just so, I was, I'm, I'm just so angry right now. I feel like I could blow fire forever. I know, I know. Honestly, considering what we've been through, 
any kind of step in the wrong direction with a friend can be heartbreaking, but the last thing I want your heart to be is broken, so here's what here's what I'm going to do. Cross, whether we like it or not, Cross is still a member of our party, and I do at least want to have a little bit of a talk with him. If you don't want to come, you don't have to, but I am at least, I do at least want to talk to him and see if we can sort some things out. So, Ivan, you're going, are, you, are you going to run, you're going to run after Cross and Simula? Yeah. Mm, I don't know about that. I wouldn't suggest that. Why not? Uh, but it's part, of, it's part of what his character is going to do, so... Yeah, that is exactly no what I would do. I would try to mend friendships whenever possible. Well, All right. if Amber is staying here with her father, I assume that she's in good hands. Perhaps I should be following Ivan in case anything turns sour? Mm-hmm. Your call. Oh, you're probably a good call you're... because I'm worried more about Ivan right now. All right. Well then, I don't trust Simula. I really don't. I don't either. What, That's why I'm trying my best to trust. I want to see good Bar- in everyone. Viraga Brit brings Amber to 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 the table and sits her down. Uh, uh I. Okay, I'm not I'm not really good at this dad thing since I'm about a hundred years out of practice, but um I think I could figure out how I think I know how to make you feel better, so um would you like to know about your mother? My ears perk up. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. So, um, your your mother, her, her name was Esmenus. Esmenus. She um. Yes. Yes. Uh, I I'm trying to think of the common letters. Uh, E S M E N A S. I think it is. Esmenus. Uh, all right. She, uh, as you, here's the thing. Um, as a um, white dragon, I, uh, I, we're not exactly. You'd never think that we were actually compatible. Um, here's the thing. Um, when I was younger, I got into a scuffle with my brethren, as we often. My hoard was stolen, and I was left for dead. But who should come across me in my broken and beaten state but a golden dragon? I thought a golden dragon's sense for justice would have me slain right then and there. But no. She nursed me back to health, much to my chagrin at the time. It's a matter of pride to not be saved, so I was... Less than a cooperative patient. <laughs> I try not to struggle too hard. Several times I actually tried to fight her off and make my own way as soon as I gained a little more strength than the last time, but she has been and always has been stronger than I. But she was patient, and she had infuriatingly good grappling skills. Oh. She knew exactly where to pinch and poke me in order to get me to collapse. I don't think I'd ever want to tussle against her. <laughs> and one day during our little sessions, I just vented everything I felt the loss of my horde, the trail of my kin, and just listened. Listened and hung on to every word I said, like I was the most important Drake in the world. Eventually, I began to feel safe with her. One thing led to another, and we fell in love. Now I'm a, now I'm a new Drake, sort of. I'm not perfect, but it's hard to go against nature, but I'm learning. Unfortunately, many aren't accepting of change. There are good dragons who are still averse to me, and my own kin, the white dragons, have disowned me. But... If there's anything your mother taught me, 
as that patiently returning cruelty with kindness will make you friends. That's all I have. Hmm. Well, I guess I see where I get my impatience from. <laughs> I see a lot. I see a lot in you. You have your mother's hair. Well, not the, well, the color. It's like it seems like the texture comes more from me. <laughs> I wonder what she would think of the situation right now. She was she was an eternal optimist, but she was all, also very practical. She was the uh, speak softly and carry a big stick type. Hmm. If I were her, I would say. Give it the benefit, give the benefit of the doubt, but be vigilant. Seems like a legit thing to do right now. Yes, she once told me that for the longest time I hated my kin, but until she told me to forgive your enemies, but remember their names. How am I supposed to forgive somebody who threw us into such horrible conditions. I never said it was easy. <clears throat> but if gods can for, if gods can forgive, should we not also as well? Just have to wait and see. Indeed. So now we are going to move to the hot springs. Hmm. There we go. This ought to be interesting. All right. Oh my goodness! Of course he's here. I freaking <laughs> seriously, dude. Hey, when is he you? not going to be showing up? All right. This guy pops up in more places than Waldo. <laughs> Yes, uh, a giant light, slightly obscured by white mist, comes into view. Instantly, you feel a gentle, hot wind brush against you, as if begging you to come forwards. Mm -hmm. On the center rock, you see individuals dressed in formal wear, one in ceremonial armor, one in a, one in a very fancy dress. The person in the center is wearing a white ceremonial robe, and you see a Montelo in the back. The first pe two people to enter are Simula and Cross, quickly followed by Ivan and quickly followed by Owen. I'm just here to make sure that Owen is staying safe no matter what happens. That's my only purpose, really. <coughs> All right. You're Owen, you mean Ivan. That's like Simula, Ivan. Turns, Sorry, Simula, Ivan. Turns, Simula, turn, Simula turns around and looks at Ivan, so, oh, didn't expect you to come. I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't just let you guys walk away from that. Hmm. Look, I'm I want to apologize on behalf of the whole team for what happened back there. I didn't want I'm glad it didn't resort to violence, but even just harsh words are un unfair to you. I I can understand where they're coming from with lack of trust, but you are a member of our team, and I do think you deserve as much respect as everyone else. Hmm. It's a, you see the uh, the red-haired woman look towards you and give a, give a very unladylike squeal. Ah! Amontalo, you promised no one would find us! Amontalo shakes his head and says, Ah, uh, no, what I said was short of divine intervention. No one would find you. And then the one in the red, yellow, the one in the golden hair, he says, Vivi, it's fine. They aren't locals. I can tell. Besides, a marriage cannot be valid without witnesses, now can they? And this, the red, the red haired woman immediately grumbles. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry for intruding at all. Oh no, oh no, you can stay. It's that makes it makes it a little more valid, I think. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> God, he talks like the Cheshire cat. 
<laughs> anyway, so what are you going? To, so uh, shall we continue on with the shindig? Uh, if it's all the same with you, sure. All right. Whatever. Here, here, and then the priest says, "Well then, <clears throat> Valkatov, Prince of the Golden Dragons, do you take?" this dragoness, to be your lawful wedded wife till death do you part. I do. Isakra, princess of the red dragons, do you take this, do you take this, do you take this drake to be your lawful wedded husband till death do you part? She says, I do. Well then, you two may kiss. You two may kiss. Aww. Then Amat Amantolo Am Amantolo motions Ivan over. That's a <laughs> Ivan. I'm not, I'm not sorry. It's a, yeah, it's, a, I, it's a, Ivan. You quickly come over here. Oh, okay. What is it, Amantolo? And yet, and are you are you familiar with any, are you familiar with uh, any wedding songs? Ooh. Uh, can I do a bardic knowledge check? Uh, yes. Um, let's see, Bardic Nose check. And that's a. Engineer Dungeon. Oh, where's the, where's the Bard Knowledge? That, would that be just under your. Ah, here, just found it. Found it. 15. 15. Okay. And we're gonna roll 15. Go for it. All right. Ooh, it's pretty good. Yeah, you wreck, you wreck it. It's like he, wh he whispers to you the, the name of a song, and you and you nod your head, saying you knew that. He said, and then Amato says, "Great, uh, I shall be. Uh, uh, you play the song, and I'll do the vocals. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right. Uh, roll perform check. Look, look. Uh, let's see. Perform check is right here." Twenty. Please be good. I want this to be super duper romantic. Okay. Pretty good. Is it super duper romantic? <laughs> you're you're a little distracted from the from how cute the scene is, but you still manage to play. I have a weakness for that. Okay. I was gonna say I was, I was gonna say just use it from your uh. Uh, character sheet. Next time. Oh my gosh, I know this song. Where is this song from? I can't remember where it's from, but I've heard it somewhere. You said you notice that Valkatom and Vizikra are now are now slowly dancing together on the rock. Never go you belong here in my arms. I heard an actual sniffle. Is someone actually crying? Oh no, I, I, I think I think they're just a character. Really? It's such a pretty scene! Finn, oh God, you are so adorable! <laughs> you are character. too precious for this world! <laughs> we break character to acknowledge that Finn is tearing up over this song. <laughs> but it's such a pretty setting and everything in the music! Oh, oh my gosh, Finn, don't ever change. You are an amazing human being. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hmm. Simula, Simula is looking at Simula is looking at this, and she she's got it. Yeah, she's actually got a small smirk on her face. It's cute. A red dragon 
and a golden dragon. Naturally sworn enemies coming together. Quite a bit, quite an interesting sight. Yeah. Yes. Something you want to share with the class, Cross? No. I'm alright. So, Sunila looks at Owen. What? No, no, witty, no witty retorts, no commentary. I'm just here to observe. And I'm not going to be ruining any special moment that we have little knowledge about. Especially in a land that is far from our own. Well. Simula, ste ste Simula steps into the hot springs and just relaxes. Hot springs and a show. Alright, then the mu the mu the music stops. And then, and then both of them leap it leap into the water and start splashing. Woo! Aw. That's cute. Fun! <laughs> so, what do you do? Well, can somebody check on cross? Mm -hmm. Actually, I was gonna, I was gonna check on Cross. Actually, all right. Uh, if, you, if you can, uh, Montalo, if you excuse me for a sec. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. My work here is done. <laughs> hey. Mm. Doing okay. I've been okay for the past few months that we've been out here. Look. I wasn't just bluffing what I said before. I really do see you as a valuable part of the team. And I know how everybody's been treating Simula lately seems very unfair, and I'm 100% behind you on that, but... I, I don't think running away from the problem is the right solution. They look happy. They look genuinely, absolutely happy. Like, they couldn't care about anything else in this entire world, just this one singular moment between them. That's true love. I only felt that ever once in my life, and I don't think I'm ever going to feel that again. Love is a powerful thing, but it's also a mysterious thing. You can never tell when you're going to feel it and when you're not. Sometimes it could be the person right under your nose, or a person you haven't even met yet, but when you find it, you're gonna feel it, and it's gonna hit you like like a ray of light, a warm ray of light that you never want to step out of. We should know. Someone doesn't feel the same way. That's a heck of a feeling. <laughs> you have feelings, feelings for one person, and you know, you know very well that they do not have the same. You just have that in you. Just, Keep it locked away. Just ignore it. Just pretend that it's not there, but you know he's there in the back of your mind with everything else. Mm. And that is the last place where I want that feeling right now. So why don't you let it out? Nothing's I holding you back? You don't know anything about me. And you don't want to know what's in the back of my head. I know enough. And what I do know, I like. And what I don't know, I'm willing to. I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to listen to you. I'm willing to hear you out. It's not that easy. It never is. Mm -hmm. The last thing I want is to be around people right now. Not feeling like this. Mm -hmm. I can't force anything out of you, but just know that no matter what happens within the team, we'll always have some people that are there for you. 
you. These two people walk out, walk out, the two, the two walk out, out of the hot spring and say, all right, Val has persuaded me to talk to our guests, however uninvited that you were. VB, be nice. Yes, dear. I'm never gonna get used to that. <laughs> So, what's it? So, what are your, all of your names? Uh, my name is Ivan Winstrom. Pleasure to meet you. Um, mm -hmm. This is Cross. Um, this is Owen. And this is Simulat. Mm -hmm. And of all course, right. this, this is Jalen, Cross's uh, pet and noble companion. Hmm. Forgive me for being so bold, but you don't look like dragons. <laughs> We're not from around here. Yeah, you can say we we're visitors. Ah, you have a friend on the inside. Fair enough. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Well, if you if you don't really have any more questions, if you don't have any questions for us, I think we shall take our leave for the honeymoon. By all means. Yes. Let please enjoy me. your time. <laughs> all right. Val Valkata. Valkatov takes Vizikra's hand and, ge and, de and gently leads her off. <laughs> That's a familiar sight. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? <sighs> that the comes over and it's like, oh, it is, oh, young love, it's so beautiful. Such a great story. Oh, it's so cute. I just want to pinch their cheeks, but then they probably bite my head off for that. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know what happens when you when you mess with the dragon. We've uh, we've seen what's happened before. <laughs> well, yeah. So it's a, it's their story is very interesting. They, it's like the the yellow one was out hunting when that he saw the red one. She had. Uh, uh, I believe she, she told me not to keep the the. She told me to keep the true nature of this a secret, but I'm just going to say she lost her sister to a health complication, and she didn't take it well. She ran off to stew in her anguish, and well, she needs someone to talk to, and who else but this gold dragon to be a shoulder to cry on? Someone you can relate to. Everybody needs someone like that. Every other day they'd meet up, and eventually they started having picnics, swapping stories, and uh, even the, even the red one would cook for him. Turns out the way to the yellow one's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, what do you expect of men? <laughs> uh, they're, so, they're so cute together. But I think I shall take my leave. Um, thanks my again. It's always, here. as always, Omanto, it's been a pleasure playing with you. Mm. Been, a, been, a, been a pleasure. Hope we can see each other again. <laughs> yeah, see you in 20 minutes and then 20 miles away, you freaking teleporter. It's like I, well, Ivan has Shadow Lock, so he can do the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. All right, so you guys gonna do anything else? I want some alone time, if that's okay. That's that's. Sorry, what? You want some alone time? I'm talking to talking to Ivan. All right, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna expedite some things, so I'm going to do a little bit of narration. All right. <coughs> so, you all sit down in the hot springs in silence, just letting the so, just. Letting the hot water melt your melt your work melt your worries and anxieties away. So, after a, after a little bit, you all wordlessly get up and head back to the inn. All right. Yes. Story has begun for almost almost three hours now. 
You go go back into the inn and you run into Varag. Mm. Uh, Amber is uh, Amber is upstairs thinking about a lot of things. Uh, it is getting late, so we should probably head to bed. Uh, take the stairs to the left. She took the ones to the right. Very well. Right, Would it be okay if I went to go say goodnight to Amber? Uh, yes, that's that's perfectly all right. Thank you. Cross goes to sit over here for a moment. He's gotta be defiant. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Simula's head upstairs and say, well, I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> all right, so. You all go upstairs. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, fabulous. We get to see Amantelo and the kitty. Isn't that interesting? Kitty kit. Yes, you walk over, yes, you walk to the room, and yes, you do see... Oh wait, I don't see me. Oh, there's me. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. there. Yeah. You walk over, you all, you, all, you all walk upstairs to head into your rooms, and you see a little kitty. Pulled up by the furnace, and end up taking a snooze. <laughs> I would have figured that he'd be playing with the fire. Like like a ball of yarn, like he's just balling the fire around. The Cheshire cat, the, the Cheshire cat hears you come in and wakes up. It's like, oh, it is you, my good friends. How are you? Rose, can you please? No, no, I cannot. <laughs> Turn off the furry love for like five minutes. Never. This is not a creature we want to hug. I, I disagree with that. Samuel, Samuel, looks at, Samuel looks at the cat and her eyes widen. There you are, Mr. Fluffy Kids. What? <laughs> what? What? Not yes, a mention, we never knew his name. <clears throat> yes, yeah, that's, that, that's our cat. Oh yes, he's been at he's one day this uh, one day this cat just showed up when we were children and he he just said uh, he just stayed around us. He seems he seems to take a shine to both me and to and to Jiminya, so we just kind of adopted him. Mr. Fluffy Kids. <laughs> we, we were we were, ch we were children. I think I remember hearing a bit about this too. Okay, that's it. I'm muted. The catcher, the catcher, the cat, the treasure cat walks over and start and starts rubbing against Simula. Mm. One of the masters is here finally. <laughs> On the other side of the world. Oh no! It's so sad. It appears I should probably go there next. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. So, what brings you here, then? Oh, I don't know. You know it. That's... You, those of chaotic persuasion don't really have a rhyme or reason to what they do, sometimes. But even, but even then, there, I knew there, was, there, was, there were a couple interesting things going on, and... I do love I do love when things just come together and create fireworks. But also, I just get the feeling that something very, very bad is about to happen, and I don't know what. And I can't wait to see it. Well, I shall leave you all that note. Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> More ominous. 
even more ominous. It's not like I was going to sleep tonight anyway. Well, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm going to sleep alone. I'll go to bed later and go out for a walk. All right, now moving on to Ivan and Varag. Luke. Varag goes, all right, I, uh... Shit, she's in there. If you want to say goodnight, I recommend you do so. Thank you. I go into Amber's room. Oh, oh, and keep, oh, and keep the door propped. <laughs> of course. Um, I'm, I'm going to pee polite. I'll knock first. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? It's me. Oh, come on in. Hey. Hey. Feeling okay? I almost punch a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a little talk with Cross. I managed to catch up with him. We went to the hot springs, and he seems a little more. He seems a lot more cooled down. Now, now that we had our talk, but he does want to spend a little time alone, which I understand. Probably for the best. I don't know if I can look at him the same way again. I don't know, Ivan. The way he looked at me, like I was just some stupid animal. You're not some stupid animal. Honestly, people do things that when they're angry that they don't, they don't, that they regret later. He called me stupid. He supported somebody that was evil to us in the past. He treats her like she's the most important thing on this planet. And all my efforts to earn his friendship, all my efforts to help protect everybody here, his efforts apparently meant nothing to him. He's so stupid, Ivan! <sighs> calm, calm down. Do I, do, I have to, do I have to bring up my, uh, my loot again? No, because I'm trying to remember something my father told me about my mother. What did he say? He told me that she was probably the most patient dragon he had ever met. Like, even even she wore him down. I guess I know where my stubbornness comes from. <laughs> but <laughs> she believed in patience and justice, and that maybe I need to as well. Mm -hmm. But I don't know... Ivan, I don't know if I can trust Cross again with my friendship. Amber, I'll, t I'll tell you something very important. When it comes to friendship, for one of the most important things about friendship besides trust is patience. And patience takes a long time to build up. To be honest, you have to be able to put up with your friend's shortcomings so that you'll be able to deal with them at their highs and their lows. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Cross has obviously had a lot of woes in his life. So... And even though he did say a lot of things that are very hurtful and honestly you should feel a little bit of contempt towards him, I think we should at the very least give this some time. Because to be honest, as long as we're patient, maybe something will come up that we weren't expecting. That's why I'm so glad that I'm actually proud of you that you didn't resort to any kind of violence right then and there. Because if you did something spur of the moment and didn't let it, pl didn't, you know, wait for something good to happen, could have regretted it later. If I had done, it, if I had done anything to Simula, it would have been stupid. Exactly. I would have proven cross right. I don't trust her, Ivan, but she is part of the team now. I have to accept it. Good. At that, you feel a gentle prodding on your mind, and you recognize Faith Erin's presence. <laughs> Faye? Amber? Amber? Hey! Uh, hey! What's what's going on? I can hear Faye and Thurin! You can? Yeah! Faye, how are you? Is everybody alright on your end? Tell him I said hi! <laughs> <laughs> hi Faye, it's Ivan, I'm here too! Are they okay? Yes. I just thought it would be a good idea to check up on you. Is everything going alright? I... I look to Ivan. Well, um, we've had some issues, but we're we're still here. We're still alive. We're 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 staying together. 
You're stuttering a lot. You do that when you're trying to hide something. What's wrong? <sighs> Be honest. We've had some issues between me and Cross and Simula, and I admit part of them were my fault. Oh joy! The what buffoon, and the buffoon, and the angry t- tiefling. This should be a good story. <laughs> How about the uh, hey, hey, dragon as well? Hey, could you ask a what happened? Uh, ask Ivan yes. to scry me. That we can. That way we can do this uh, two way. Can't we? Can't if we were touching Theathurin, we can hear what's going on, yeah. right? Oh, okay, we can. Okay. Yeah. So I assume we have our hands on our shoulder. Okay. Mm-hmm. On our shoulders. Also, also, hi, Amber. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I a little more clarity on what happened would be nice. We have suspicions that Simula has no idea what that other monster has been doing to us in our dreams and nightmares. Ah, uh, yes. Going rogue, I recall that. Owen is shocked that she wouldn't know, but apparently, from what we could tell, she had no idea. Yeah, I guess that exp- I guess that explains the whole uh, uh, the whole situation back when uh, Grimjaw uh, got the axe. Yes, I recall mentioning that before. Mm. I the assumed that the- was. I, would- I assumed that was about Jalorim's father, I'm but surprised. her not know. But her not knowing about the dreams also makes sense. If Arkoth is if Arkoth is part of the old regime, there's absolutely no way he would have told her everything she, that he's capable of. I guess but she missed it. But she's been watching us, hasn't she? Surely we've talked enough about these dreams for that to come up in conversation. I guess. Mm. She legit does not seem to be aware, though Owen has no trust in her, and personally, I don't either, but... But what's this about... what does any of this have to do with Cross? Cross is putting a lot of faith in her, in Simula, apparently, because Simula has offered to teach him things in exchange to hunt down Vine Blight. What? Whoa, whoa, wait. Simula has... Why? Information on Vine Blight. She does. Uh, are you surprised by that, Jalarim? Well, no, I'm just... Well, what kind of information? Like, what are we talking about? She apparently knows his whereabouts. Hmm. Thinks Oof. we should be taking him down in order to get the dwarves off our backs. That's, uh... Wait, what does she get out of that? Eh, I have so much trouble trying to decipher any of that woman's motivations. To be honest, if she... That's exactly why I asked. The deal was this. It seems like a win-win situation for us, and I don't trust that. The deal was, if Cross wants to learn from her, then we have to agree to follow with her plan to hunt this fine blight down. Hmm. Though Owen thinks this is a risk, because that other monster will probably know that we're about to do that, and I don't know what to do or decide on. Amber, is it right if I tell you something? Half the time, when, when I'm in a, when I'm in battle with you guys, and I see you breathing fire or Faye casting I don't know prismatic spray at somebody, and I'm sitting here with just a lonely dagger, I always I always have always have to go back and think, what would have happened if I didn't throw back my father's offer in his face? And every time I, every time I'm in battle, that's always in the back of my mind. Heck, there's a, there's a rumor that if I perform a certain act, <clears throat> I could have done some. Uh, I can attain a lot of power. <clears throat> but if I did, I'd have compromised my morals. If I did something. Every day that's in the back of my mind. Like I could I could be so much I I could be so much more. 
But I always think of the positives that have come along since then. Uh, I've made several new friends. I've used, I've honed what skills I have learned. <laughs> skills I've learned. Oh man, that brings me back. But anyway, I've used the skills I have learned and used it in battle and made, my, made myself useful. I didn't want to feel like I wasn't a part of the team. And I think that's what Cross is going through. And he may need to see... We may need to show him that... We may need to show him that light. That that even though times would be tough and we're... Uh, we're the situations where it may not be as useful as... Times were hell. Like recently, I tried to back somebody, and turns out they were part plant. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Oh, speaking of which, uh, just double check on Simula in like uh, an hour or so, because uh, Jiminy kind of got swallowed by a T Rex, so uh, she may. Sorry, Jiminy got swallowed by a T Rex, and uh, she may Simula may be feeling the same effects. Uh, I don't know, twenty minutes or so. So like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, long story. Oh. Don't oh. worry, she's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's all right. I immediately dropped her thing and brushed the simula. Back on point. You know, if you guys were staying in character, you would have no idea what that is. What's a T Rex? <laughs> no, I do. I did a knowledge of nature. Test. Yeah, she does. Yeah, but you're no, talking to Amber and Ivan. Well, the thing is, it's like they got, she got swallowed by something. Swallowed so by that's probably why we're even more scared. It's like we don't even know what yeah, it is. I got, she got swallowed <laughs> by something. That's why I'm reacting. I'm like, ah, what? Well, well T Rex. He's fine. A little, a little, a little slimy, but fine. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no offense. No offense, Jamania. She took a. That's, she's fine. <laughs> she's, she's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but back on point, uh, back on point with Cross. Um, yeah, just just remind him that there's al there's always um, another option around around those ways. Even if it means if he does accept Simulant's offer, just remind him that. Uh, the light is the the door is always open to the right. There's, all, there's always there's always that other option. With people like Cross, actions do speak louder than words. Yeah. So that's worth keeping in mind. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm. Hey. Stay safe. You too. We love you. Anyway, um, I think you said that to the wrong person, Ivan. And I'm ending the scry spell on that note. Oh, you what little rat! Hey! 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 Ah, so uh, Jiminy taught her well. I think I better go check on Simula. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and to all the shippers watching this, you're welcome. Appreciate right, so, it. So, Amber, uh, Ivan, are you going into the... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow her, yeah. Okay, so Amber, you all walk at you all walk into y'all walk into Simula's room, and you see that uh oh Cross is already in there, and Jalen is larger. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> yes! Come on! 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 Wow! You get a haircut. Simula, uh. Simula looks at you and gives and get and gives gives you all a smile. What? Did you do this? What's going on? I was just coming in to check on you because something happened to Germanium. Wanted to make sure you were okay, and now... Giant Snake! Oh, we're, oh, we're perfectly fine. 
Wait, what happened to Jem? Uh, she, what happened to Jalen? Uh, part of the part of the it's part oh it's part of the tutoring process. <laughs> well then, <clears throat> that's a perk. Uh, um. It's a very nice perk. I go to pet the top of Jalen's head slightly. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you you feeling all right? Oh, I'm feeling, Helps. Perfectly, I'm feeling perfectly all right. Especially that Cross finally took the, finally took the deal. He what? She didn't stutter. 